Poundland is getting its summer stock for 2015 and they've just played the 1 watt LED card. So here we've got their camping bulb light with a 1 watt LED light bulb with carabiner. Okay. So the lamp itself is quite nice. I've got some batteries in it and it's not super bright. I mean, you can see it's lighting up, but it's not really what you call 1 watt output. And that's not really helped much by the fact that this diffuser is so, you know, it's not very translucent. It could have been a lot more translucent than this. That said, it's a big chunky diffuser and, to be fair, there is a 1 watt LED in it. The 1 watt LED is powered by this little AAA, uh, 3 AAA battery pack that just drops in to these metal contacts in here. And the back, which screws on, is rubberized exterior sort of plastic, and it's actually very robust. The whole thing is actually feels really good. It's certainly uh, very hackable, I'd say. Oops, I've clicked the button on. The LED has a little chip. This is a moment traction button, so it's a chip that's doing the latching. And there's a tiny little resistor here, really tiny surface mount resistor. Uh, what value is that? Let's uh, take a look at that. It's a... Where is it? Where is it? It's really tiny. It's a 300. It's a 30 ohm LED uh, resistor. Okay, 30 ohms. So the LED will be dropping about 3 volts. Let's, uh, let's measure this in fact. I don't know if the chip will be dropping much, so let's, uh... Turn it on, and we'll see what voltages we're getting. So let's, uh... I'll assume the LED is through... No, I won't assume it. I'll actually measure the LED. If I can actually see, because it is quite bright when you're looking directly at it. The LED... 2.9 volts. So let's say, yeah, 3 volts for the LED. So it's a 4.5 volt battery pack. Let's uh, see what, let's actually measure that, shall we? What am I actually getting there? 4.4. Okay. And what am I getting across the resistor? 1.26. So three, four point, you know, very little is being dropped across the chip. That's very good. But it's 1.27 uh, volts is being dropped across the 30 ohm resistor. 1.27 divided by 30 ohms equals 42 milliamps. Okay, so somewhat short of the uh, of the 1 watt rating, which would be about 350 milliamps, but let's, let's go with that. Um, so let's see, it's 42 milliamps times 3 volts. The actual output rating is 0.126 watts, so about eighth of a watt. But on a plus side, you know, in a dark environment, that's going to be quite bright. I have to say, I think I'd just leave this off, this cover, if, if you wanted a much brighter output, because it's a lot brighter without it. Um, having said that, the whole thing is very robust. It's got that horrible CE and and the wee picture of wheelie bin with a cross across it saying, don't throw it in the bin, it's, you know, it's non-eco, blah, blah, blah. Yes, that label's coming off. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, take a look inside this and see if there's anything else that's worth looking at. I don't think there's going to be much else in this. Let's see what the contacts are like. Okay, there's a contact that I think is, I don't think it's actually making contact the circuit board. I think it's just got the wire tacked onto it there. Uh, that's the positive contact. The negative is here. The negative is going to the switch, so that's uh, one of these wires is just pulling the switch signal down to the chip. I don't think there's anything else under there, is there? Let's see if I can pop this circuit board out. I've got something I can lever that out with. I don't think there's going to be anything really exciting under there. Nope, just that loose contact. That's it. It's quite clever the way they've just kind of folded that round and then held it in by the circuit board that just clips in. So, you know what? It's not bad. The quality of construction is really robust. It's a really nice little light. 
Um, it's hackable. I don't know how much the chip can handle. You could change the resistor. Although having said that, it's um, going to you know it's going to result in very long battery life. And if you used nickel metal hydride cells, what would it be if you used nickel metal hydride cells? So they'd start off at 4.5. They'd drop down to about 3.6, 3 volts across the LED. Say about 0.6 over the um, resistor. It's going to run at about 20 milliamps, so at that level you might as well have just used a 5 millimeter LED. But having said that, under running the 1 watt LED will, should result in a good lifespan. Uh, it should make it quite efficient as well, because uh, it's such a large chip. So, you know, all in all, <coughs> this is quite nice. I have to say it's actually quite a nice little light. Uh, and certainly, I mean, it's only a pound, so I mean, who's going to complain about that? It's, it's very good little extra addition. Off comes this rather over-diffused cover. On goes this alternative, just, well, it's not going to screw on, but it will actually fit in, it will actually clip in. And that just, you know, when you point at a wall, this slightly textured plastic in here is so much better than this. It actually makes it look visually brighter and it puts out a lot more light. So that would have been a nicer alternative to this. But you know what? It's it's hard to fault this light. It's just very chunky. It's, it's a great wee light. I really like that a lot. 